Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if you are new. Hello, my name is V. I post now tutorials every Thursday and Sunday at 15 a.m. Central Time. Getting right into today's video, I did go ahead and soak off my nails previous to recording this. So I'm starting off by removing any excess acrylic left behind. For whatever reason, I couldn't soak off the thumb all the way. So I'm just using a mandrel bit with a sanding band to remove the rest of that acrylic. I do have my e-file at about 4,000 RPMs and I'm just going to continue buffing off the shine very, very gently off of the rest of my nails. I'm doing this with very light pressure as I do not want to remove layers off of my natural nail. I'm just buffing off that shine to help the product adhere properly. I am using my Kiara Sky rechargeable e-file for this step. I'm just dusting off any excess dust. And then I'm moving on to my other hand. Always remember that I do like to rest my hand on something that will help stabilize my hand. Since I am doing it with my non-dominant hand, it can be a little bit tricky, so I do recommend you guys try this method if you are struggling. Once I'm done buffing off the shine, I am moving on to the cuticle area, working around the cuticle to try to get any excess skin left behind. I am using my needle bit. I love, love, love this bit. It helps to get into those hard to reach areas. And as you can see, even though I already went in and filed the nail, I'm still getting a bunch of that dead skin off of my natural nail, which is gonna help tremendously with your product adhering to your natural nail very well. It's also going to help with any lifting issues you might have. Once I'm done with my needle bit, I'm moving on to my cuticle ball bit. This gently buffs off any nasty cuticle that you might have. I do not like nipping it off. And as I always mention in my videos, this is the best alternative that I have found. It gently buffs it away and it gets rid of any little excess skin around that area. And it leaves your nails looking so good at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off. Still working at four to 5,000 RPMs. Once I'm done with my filing process, now I'm going in and showing you guys the Opre Gelix kit. I did purchase this about a year ago and I am so sorry that I'm just now getting to it. I've used this previously, but I wanted to make a video on it for you guys since I have select. 
with the Gelix. So it comes with a pH bond, the primer, the Extend Gel top coat, and the tiny little UV light is so, so cute. The packaging is amazing. I love when companies execute their packaging so, so well. I love that you can use it for traveling and everything. It stays nice and compact. So these are the tips and it comes with a ton of sizes. Now I am taking a lint-free wipe and some swipe and cleaning the surface of my nail. I wanna make sure that I'm removing any excess dust and this is just gonna help dehydrate that nail as well before I get onto the rest of my prep. Now my next step is going to be sizing them to my natural nails. I am going from the smallest to the biggest. I figured it would be easier if I just start off with my pinky. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see which one fits the best. And then I'm gonna be doing that on the rest of the nails. You wanna make sure that it goes from side to side perfectly. You don't want it to be too big and you don't want it to be too small. So I'm just making sure that it fully covers that. And if it is a little bit too big, like say your nail is in between sizes, no worries. You can use a hand file and file it into the perfect shape for your natural nail. I have found that these fit me so, so well. So I didn't have to file any of them, which is nice because that's always an extra step, which just means you're adding time to the whole process. So I'm going to go ahead and finish sizing these nails to my natural nail and then I'll get right back on here. Now that I'm all done, I am going in with my 5-in-1 bit from Kiara Sky. This is the perfect size for all of the tips. I remember using the jelly tips from Kiara Sky and I remember not being able to find a bit that actually fit in the inside of the well of the nail. So I am so excited that this one fits perfectly into all of them. And I'm just going in and removing the shine basically off of the part that's going to be adhered to my nail. So it's just a small portion up top where the cuticle area is at. And I'm just making sure that it's nice and filed. You wanna make sure you don't skip this because that will cause the nails to pop off very easily as it's not going to adhere nicely. So make sure you don't skip this step. I found that if I go up and down, it gets the bulk of product. So I don't have to worry about going back and forth. I just went gently up and down. And then I'm gonna finish doing that on the rest of the nails. Now I went ahead and took everything out of the box and I'm starting off with my pH bond. This is basically a dehydrator. So I'm just going ahead and doing one coat of that onto my natural nails. This is gonna remove any excess oils that you might have on your natural nail, which helps adhere all this stuff to your nail. Now 
Now we're moving on to the primer. This is an acid-free primer, which I like because the acid ones do smell very, very strong and I do not like it. So I'm just gonna be doing one coat first on all 10 fingers. And then I am going back in and adding a second coat. If you are an OG of my channel, you will note that I love doing two coats just to ensure that everything adheres properly and it limits any lifting. So definitely recommend this if you guys are having issues with lifting, try two coats of primer that normally does the trick. Now our next step is adding a thin layer of the extend gel on our natural nail. This is going to help adhere the bulk product on to your nail. So definitely do not skip this as well. Um, I'm not quite sure how well it works if you don't do this step. So I guess I should try that in my next attempt to gelix my nails. And I can see how well it works. I feel like I'm gonna start troubleshooting different methods of applying them, and I feel like that will give me a better way of giving you guys kind of inside tips on what works and what doesn't work. So I'm just adding a thin layer of that onto my natural nail. I'm trying to really press it in, just in case I have any little ridges or any creases on my nail, which they are pretty smooth, but I'm just making sure that I'm really pressing that product into my natural nail and I'm trying to just get a little bit of product on that brush and it's so, so stringy and sticky. So it's a little bit tricky, but once you get it on the nail, it's nice and blendable. Once I'm done applying that first thin layer, I am placing my hand into the light so that the product doesn't run and it's nice and cured and I can move on to my other hand. So definitely recommend doing that if you are doing both hands at the same time. And for that, I am using my Kiara Sky rechargeable LED light. I'm just popping it in there. And as you can see, popping it in there for 30 seconds, that's all you need. And then I'm gonna be moving on to the other hand. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of this. Once I'm done with both hands, I am starting my application process. I'm taking a good amount of product and just placing that on the back end of the tip. And then I'm going to be pressing that firmly into the cuticle area and then pushing the bubbles down towards the tip. Now, let me tell you, doing this on yourself, especially with your non-dominant hand, I was like, help. <laughs> I literally was like, babe, help me. So you can see his fingers in this portion and then he got shy so I just grabbed it from him and I figured that I was gonna do the rest of the video without any help because I wanted to give you guys the full details of how this went I honestly do not remember the first time how I did it but I remember it being easier than this time so again I'm taking my other tip 
placing a good amount of product onto the back end of that. And then I was like, okay, how am I gonna do this? I need to press it in, but I also need to grab the light, but I also need to hold it in place. That was my thought process. So I was like, I'll just try to use my other finger. And then I didn't apply it well, so I just lightly took it off. And then I was like, okay, I'm using my ring finger. Boom, bam, right? Easy peasy. Well, it gets harder. <laughs> so I just made sure I pressed it in, held the light onto it. And then once you get it nice and cured, you can move your finger off of that and firmly press it down, making sure that I'm getting all the air bubbles out. It is very, very tricky doing it on your non-dominant hand. Do not get me wrong. It might look a little bit simple on the video, but I struggled. And I did get a ton of bubbles in my right hand, which is the one that I'm doing right now. Just because I was doing it with my non-dominant hand, it was so, so tricky to kind of squeeze all that out. It was, it was insane. So now we're moving on to the middle finger. And at this point I was like, oh gosh, what am I doing? But it worked out. Again, I used my pointer finger, my index finger, and I held it down as well as possible. And I did the tip first, and then you could just lightly let it go, and it will adhere good. And right there, I think I was trying to squeeze out more bubbles from the top. Now I'm moving on to the index finger. Again, applying a good amount of product on the back end and then pressing it in there. And I was like, okay, now how am I gonna do this one? <laughs> and I think I ended up flipping the little light around. I don't even know what I did, like shoved my hand under there to try to get it into the light. Um, I was actually going to try to use one of my little flashlights that I recommended from my Amazon favorites and I could not find the one that had batteries in it and I didn't have batteries at the salon so like I said I was like you know what I'm gonna do it with this light that it comes with to give you guys the full experience and my full insight on how it really went. I made it work it ended up being fine no big deal so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the thumbnail. Again, applying a good amount of product on the back end. Now I did wanna give you guys a little bit of insight on these tips. These are full sculpted shaped. So they have a nice C curve to them, which means if you have very flat nails like myself, you want to try to add a little bit more gel so that it doesn't pinch your nail and cause discomfort. I do remember the first time ever that I tried these, I just put it all the way flat to my nail. And whenever you do that, it really pinches your natural nail, which makes it very, very sore. So keep that in mind. You want to add a good amount of product that will kind of infill the curve of the tip, which helps tremendously. So just a quick little tip on these. And then boom, bam, I'm done with my right hand. I made it. It wasn't too, too bad, but it's definitely a different experience than what I'm used to. Now we're gonna be moving on to my left hand and I'm gonna be doing it with my right hand, which is my dominant hand. I kind of figured out a way of doing it. So I'm holding the light and then I turn it on once I'm done pressing it. And you can see how far away it is, but that still cures it enough to freeze it into place. And then I just move it closer and closer and closer. And then finally I grab it and put it right to the nail and it cures it perfectly. I was so excited that this hand was so much easier. But that's basically the process that I'm gonna be using on this hand. Again, applying a good amount of product on the back end of that tip. Trying to not make a mess. Pressing it firmly in the cuticle area and then I press down towards the tip and all the product will flow away from the cuticle down to the tip, which is what you want. You don't want it to squeeze out all over the place in the cuticle area, which I will show you how to clean that up at towards the end because I did get a few of them that spilled everywhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of this process as it's super repetitive and I've been talking nonstop and then I'll get right back on here.
since I did only flash cure each of the nails, I'm going in and doing a full minute under the UV light. If you don't have this, you can just do one more pass with the tiny little light, but I'm using my LED rechargeable light from Kiara Sky, and I'm doing the 90 second option on the timer. And I just went ahead and left it in there. Now that I'm all done with the application, I am wiping the surface because I did get a little bit of spillage and it does have like a tacky layer and I wanted to make sure I wiped all of that off so that when I go into file, it's not sticky dust everywhere. So now that I'm done cleaning, I am using my Kiara Sky rechargeable e-file. Along with that, I'm using my five in one silver medium carbide bit. Love, love, love it. I talk about it all the time. And I'm just going around the cuticle area trying to remove any spillage that I might have. You wanna really make sure that you get that nail nice and flush to your natural nail because these do tend to look a little bit bulky in the cuticle area and you want it to look nice and natural. So right here, I'm just going over some spillage that I had and I'm just filing it very gently. I don't wanna get onto my skin. And it files right away very, very nicely. So you don't have to worry about it ruining the nail at all. It's not gonna cause lifting. I do remember this from the last set that I had. They stayed on. So you definitely don't have to worry about the spillage causing lifting. Of course, try to keep it to a bare minimal, but do not worry and don't freak out if you do get a little bit of spill. So again, I'm just removing that little bit of spillage and then I'm trying to get that nail nice and flush to the natural nail. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this. I'm going in with my Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick file, my all-time favorite hand files. I'm just scoring off that tip. It does come a little bit round and it has like a little bit of a tip that comes out. So I'm just making sure that I'm removing that and getting it nice and squared. And then I'm going lightly on the sides of the nail as well, just to make sure that it's nice and flush to my natural nail on both sides and that the shape is exactly how I want it. These come pre-shaped very, very well. So you don't have to do a ton of filing. I just wanna make sure that I got rid of any gel that might have spilled on the sides or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that and finish off the shaping. Now we're going ahead and finishing off these nails. I am gonna be doing my base nude color. This is such a really pretty color from Young Nails. It is from their Go Time collection of their gel polish. I've mentioned it before. Love, love, love their line of gel polish. This is amazing. You do not need a base coat and you do not need a top coat. So you just do one to two coats of this gel polish pop it in the light and you're good to go. Like you do not have to top coat it. I don't think I've ever had any chipping. It is such a good product. So definitely recommend their gel polishes if you are looking for some really good ones. I'm gonna go ahead and polish my nails very, very carefully, start at the cuticle area and then work my way down to the tip. Make sure that I'm getting the sides nice and perfect. And I don't really use gel polish, so this is really different for me. <laughs> but it is definitely satisfying seeing that color go on there very nicely.
Once I'm done doing my layer of polish, I am going in with my Profiles Backstage 3D nail art brush, and I'm actually using a little bit of swipe on that brush and just cleaning up that cuticle area. I wanna make sure that it's nice and crisp and I don't have any craziness going on. So I'm just doing that very, very gently and with very, very little bit of swipe. I'm going ahead and placing that in the light for a full minute. I wanna make sure it is nice and cured. Once we are out of the light, I'm gonna go ahead and start my nail art application. So I am gonna be doing some really pretty spring inspired flowers. I'm starting off with the yellow gel paint from Profiles Backstage. It's from their frosting gel paint. Love, love, love their gel paints. Definitely recommend them if you guys are looking for some as well. I'm just taking a dotting tool and doing random dots, mainly focusing in the center of the nail and just randomly drawing them on there, placing that in the light. This is gonna start off our flower design and kind of give me a placement for each of the flowers. So now I'm taking my favorite nail art brush from Amazon. It is the bomb. I've had it for about four, going on five years now. And you can see it's nice and crusty, but it still works so, so well. So definitely recommend it. I am doing my little petals. For this, I'm using the Profiles Backstage White Gel Paint from their Frosting Gel Paint. I love, love, love them. And I'm just starting off by doing very thin, long, little petals and I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do that all around that yellow dot. Super easy, you can make these with no nail art experience. I feel like these are the easiest little flowers you can do. So if you guys are wanting to do some flowers, definitely recommend these. These are my favorite to do for the springtime and I feel like it's been so gloomy out. I wanted a little bit of positivity in my life, so I figured what better way of doing it than giving me some spring vibes on my nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that on the rest of the nails. It's very, very repetitive. Don't forget to place your hand into the light whenever you feel it is necessary. I did go ahead and cure the thumb, and then I did two more nails, placed that in the light, and then I continued to finish off my nail art. So while we are doing this repetitive part of the video, I did wanna go ahead and give you guys my initial thoughts. Kind of a little bit of a review on the Gelix system. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did purchase this about a year ago, sadly enough. Um, and I used it one time when I first purchased it. I think if you're like a really OG, from my channel, you will remember that I mentioned it in one of my vlogs. I haven't done a vlog in so long, but it was in one of my vlogs. I mentioned trying it on one of my nails and that was what I was mentioning about how it really just pinched my natural nail and it caused my entire finger to be nice and sore. And so um, that was the first time that I tried it and then I went ahead and did an entire full set because we were going out we had an event to go to, so I had to put on some quick nails and I figured I would try this set out. It worked so well, so, so well. It was nice and easy. I didn't have any issues with it. The growth of it was fine. I didn't have any lifting whatsoever. And I did want to mention a little story of me smacking the living life out of my poor nail and if you were to be able to confirm this with my husband, I think I cried. <laughs> I hurt my finger so bad. I've never felt that much pain shoot up through my entire arm. I My purse was falling. I think we were in the car and I went to grab it and I smacked my finger against the, I think it was like my glove compartment. And when I tell you, I held my finger for about 10 minutes and then it went completely numb. And I knew for a fact that my whole nail was gonna be ripped off. I just felt it. I thought that I was gonna look at my finger and there was gonna be blood everywhere. So I actually finally got the courage to let go of my finger and look at it. No lifting whatsoever. It did not pull up my nail either which was insane to me because I for sure thought it was at least gonna pull up my natural nail. 
nothing happened. So if that doesn't show how durable these nails are, I don't know what else to tell you guys. They definitely work so, so well. So now that I'm done with my little story, we are moving on to the top coat. This is their no wipe top coat from the kit. I'm just doing a thin layer of that over top of the surface of the nail. I'm making sure that I'm pressing it firmly into those little designs because they can have little ridges and all that good stuff and you wanna make sure you fully, fully cover that entire design. I'm going to be popping that into the light for a full minute. Make sure you put it in the light as this is gel and what I love that it's super, super shiny and you don't have to wipe it off. I do not like top coats that you need to wipe off. I feel like you're wiping off the shine I don't know, it's it's the thought about it. So placing that into my Kiara Sky light for a full minute. Once we are out of the light, I am adding my favorite cuticle oil from Profiles Backstage that smells so, so good. And it melts right into your skin, rubbing that in with my other hand. But that basically concludes today's video. Let me know if you guys have any tips down below on the little light and all that good stuff. But this is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.